Hi guys, this is a quick video to show you how to uh, bring in an image uh, from the internet into Onshape, so then you can have that in the background and then be able to trace around it um, for your model. So first thing that we need to do is go to this little plus sign down the bottom left of your screen, insert new element. So I'm going to click on that and go to import. Uh, and you'll be able to find the image on your computer somewhere. So you need to have saved it first uh, off the internet. Um, things like outlines or silhouettes work really well. Uh, all lined patterns, uh, all logos uh, work relatively well as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, grab this guitar image. So double click or click on open. Uh, this little notification will come up. You can just uh, get rid of that, so a little cross over here. Uh, and then what we want to do is place the image somewhere on our uh, on shape. Uh, so think about the orientation of how you want your your thing to look. So my guitar, I'd probably want to draw it on the top plane, so it's like facing down. If I was going to do that uh, Lego uh, model, I'd probably draw it on the front plane because I want it to be standing up. Uh, so I'm going to click on the top plane and go to sketch and then come across to where the little dimension button is. Next to that, there's a little drop down menu. So I need to click on that and click on insert image. So that'll bring up this uh, table across onto the left and it will contain the image that you've already put into on shape. So I'm going to double click on that. And then this little thing will come up, draw image rectangle. So I need to basically uh, place where I want the image. Um, so I'm going to uh, look up, look on this onto the front. So I can either click front over here or I can click N on my keyboard. And then I'm going to click and click and drag. And then however big I want it, I just need to click again, it'll stop drawing the image. Um, from here, I need to basically dimension that image so it's within my um, constraints. So I can use the dimension tool and it will uh, auto shape the image. So if I just dimension one of these lines, um, so at the moment it's 93 mil, so uh, I'm going to change that to um, 80 mil, so it's within our 80 by 80 mil, uh, and you can see that it like it auto imaged everything. Um, so I don't need to put another dimension on it. That is fine, um, and it's relatively in the center um, of my file, which is what I want as well. So this is the only time that I want you to ever click on this green button to uh, OK the sketch because we don't need to extrude this. We just want to leave this image here as a sketch. So I'm going to click on this green tick just to OK it. And basically it will be in the background as like this gray image. Um, and just so there's no confusion, I can right click on sketch one and I can rename this. Uh, image, big letters, because um, then what I can do is I can hide that image or I can bring it back depending on what I'm doing. Um, this is one that I was basically working on earlier. So what I can do from now, from here, is then sketch the outline. So if I turn this image off, you can see. So I've sketched the outline of what I want. The, the base model to look like, okay, because I need to start somewhere. Don't start with all the details in the middle, start with the outline of your model. And then I need to extrude that first. So then I've got, uh, again, just like a base model. Uh, then from there, for example, I could add fillets. And then I can start adding the detail uh, on top. So I can turn the image back on so I can see that um, and have that on as I'm trying to draw all the stuff on top. So what I did next was just draw these little details in the middle. 
So if I turn off the image, you can see those are like on my little model. Um, so I drew them on top of the guitar, not on the on the plane. Uh, and then any other detail that you need to draw, you can draw and add that as well. So I added the headstock as like an extra little detail. And again, you can you know add curves and do whatever else you need to do to it. Uh, and again, you can turn on and off this little image. So you can add more detail if you want to. Then, you know, when you finish, you just want to look at it, turn the image off. Uh, and that's it.